TV news. Morning satsang. The next 2012 Inner Awakening for ages over 14 years and Engineers program for kids is August 21st through September 11th at Kodakino Resort. High Court stays Nithyananda Medical Test third batch of Nirahara Semimas starts soon online. World Tour by Swamiji in November request a program. Sri Krishna Janmashtami. For 12 12 12 be on a cruise and world tour with His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda. Nityanandam and welcome to Nityananda TV News for Thursday, August 9th, 2012, the year of meditation and cosmic partying, the kind that doesn't do damage to our bodies. Now for today's top stories. Oh. Morning satsang with avatar and living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda. As Swamiji guides the group of Yatris during the 2012 Mount Kailash Yatra, 662 places from 176 cities in 22 countries joined Nityananda TV today for the July 5th morning satsang replay as Swamiji spoke on the Nirahara Samyama and more. One nice thing. Just yesterday I was sitting and contemplating. What was the reason so quickly I was recognized by the seekers and same way recognized as a danger for the, by the unconscious fellows. See both recognition, recognized by seekers as the only source of life, recognized by the unconscious mob as a threat to their sleep, their slumber, deep slumber. How did this happen? So quickly, see the space I am which now, worshipped by millions, followed by millions, one side, other side, being projected as a villain by unconscious hysteric mass media. <laughs> this situation, usually all great masters face only the last phase of their life. It takes 50 years for the masters to be recognized and to be afraid of. Please understand, every negative article or show done on me, abusive show done on me in media is nothing but the fear about my po future potentiality. The next 2012 Inner Awakening and End Genius is August 21st to September 11th at Kodakinal Resort. The most sought after spiritual retreat is being offered once more beginning August 21st through September 11th from Kodakino Resort. Do not miss this opportunity to permanently cleanse your body, mind and being of all harmful patterns through the proven, time-tested, ancient and modern updated techniques and processes from unique living avatar and enlightened master Paramahamsa Nityananda. Visit www.innerawakening.org to read sharings of healing from previous participants and collect all details on the retreat including studies showing 1300% boosts in energy, past lives, relationships, chakra healing, kundalini yoga, siddha and ayurvedic medicine and more. As well, do not miss out on the 21-day concurrent and genius program for kids, also beginning August 21st. Go to www.eneducation.nithyananda.org 
to learn about the revolutionary revitalization of the ancient Gurukul system that is creating kids with intelligence that high school teachers are calling terrifying. Give kids the upper edge through the growth and transformation, the experience of an enlightened inner space from the 21 days of end genius, including unique yoga, memory camp, brain gym, art, enlightenment science and techniques for kids, dynamic meditation, confidence boosts, inner space cleansing and management. See www.youtube.com slash en education for videos of parents, kids, teachers, and more. Visit www.nithyananda.org slash events to have a member of the Inner Awakening support team contact you and send your intention to attend Inner Awakening to be blessed by Swamiji with the necessary clarity and energy to realize your desires. Visit innerawakening.org slash intention. High Court stays Nityananda medical test. Bangalore, 8th of August 2012. The Karnataka High Court today extended the stay on the proposed medical test to be conducted on spiritual guru Paramahamsa Nityananda who is currently on pilgrimage to Kailash Manasarovar with a group of international devotees. Nityananda's lawyer and senior counsel C. V. Nagesh presented his arguments in court yesterday in a compelling session which lasted close to three hours. The senior counsel contended that the police had sought the test with a malfied intention which would provide no purpose other than cheap publicity for public consumption. A few pertinent questions placed before the court included what is the purpose and validity of a medical test conducted six years after the alleged act? Why has the mandatory primary medical examination of the alleged rape victim not been conducted to date to determine if she has indeed been raped and whether she is suffering from any sexually transmitted disease from her previous illicit relationships as claimed? Even if the medical test proves potency, does it in any way prove that the individual has committed that particular crime? Conversely, if the medical test proves impotency, is the investigating officer, N.M. Ramalingapa, ready to withdraw the rape charge? Why are the statements of 15 witnesses recorded in 2010 being suppressed by the investigating officer? Why has Ramalingapa impersonated himself as the investigating officer in this case, as a memo had been already issued in November 2011 by the DGP replacing Ramalingapa with Deputy Superintendent of Police of the CID B.N. Ambiger as the investigating officer? Presenting his arguments... Advocate Nagesh noted, it is surprising and astonishing to note that the investigator has till this day not subjected the telltale victim for a medical examination to know as to whether she is suffering from any disease and as to whether she is capable of receiving an act of intercourse, be it by consent or by force from her male companion. What needs to be seen is as to whether the examination of the arrested person will afford evidence as to the commission of the offense of rape alleged against him. Even if the medical examination of the petitioner were to indicate that he is capable of having an act of intercourse, it does not indicate that there exists evidence with regard to the commission of the offense of rape complained against him. Conversely, putting that if the result of the medical examination of the petitioner were to indicate that the petitioner is impotent or not capable of having an act of intercourse, the investigator cannot withdraw the prosecution of the petitioner. Nityananda had approached the Karnataka High Court earlier this month challenging the Rabnagram District Court's order for the medical test. After listening to the arguments on both sides, Honorable Justice V. Jagannathan extended this day till the next hearing, which is likely to be on the 22nd of August. Read more about this in the press through nithyananda.org slash news. And the third batch of Nirahara Samyama starts soon online. The first ever global yogic cleanse. Learn to live vitally without food. Paramahamsa Nityananda is offering this free course online beginning August 21st to September 10th. 
daily from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Registration information at www.livewithoutfood.com And the Nirahara Samyama begins August 21st at Kodekano. Awaken your bio-memory to go beyond the need of food and water. Spend 21 days in the physical presence of the living avatar Paramahamsa Nityananda. Also, break all food-related patterns in the presence of Swamiji. To be eligible, you should have successfully completed 2 days of 1st level, 7 days of 2nd level, and 11 days of 3rd level Nirahara Samyama. 2nd batch can make advanced bookings. Email programs at nithinanda.org for inquiries and register at nithinanda.org slash events. World Tour by Swamiji in November. Request a program. Swamiji will be traveling to several major cities in Europe in November 2012. All satsang centers that are interested in hosting Swamiji for a program are welcome to send an email request to en.sharing at nithinanda.org. And volunteers, contact your center to get involved now. Sri Krishna Janmashtami is the day when the pure Supreme Consciousness assumed the form called Sri Krishna 5,000 years ago. Every year, Lord Krishna's birthday is celebrated as Krishna Stami, Krishna Jayanti, Gokula Stami, Sri Jayanti, and Ashtami Rohini by millions of people across the globe. This year, in Sri Nitinandeshwara Temple, in the Bidhidi Ashram of Nitinanda Janapitam, Krishna Jan Mashtami will be celebrated in a grand manner with special pujas, offerings and bhajans. The deities which have been directly energized by rare living incarnation Paramahamsa Nitinanda through the mystical science of Prana Purusha will be worshipped on that day. Devotees across the globe can also participate in the celebrations and receive the divine grace of Lord Krishna and the blessings of the Guru. You can register for the puja and offerings in your own name or on behalf of your family, friends or organization. The schedule of events includes for the 9th of August, 11 p.m. onwards Krishna Bhajans, the 10th of August, 9 a.m. onwards offerings, 4 p.m. Bhagavad Gita Oma, 7 p.m. Krishna Puja, 8 p.m. Cultural Programs, 9 p.m. Krishna Bhajans, Krishna Janmashtami offerings include Navanita Naivedyam for a speedy fulfillment of wishes, Bala Krishna Puja, blessings to have a divine child, Bhagavad Gita Oma is the special Oma performed to make your energy level receptive to the enlightening truths delivered by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, and Shirana Naivedyam for pure devotion and divine grace. See nityananda.org slash events for more details and to register. For December 12, 2012, be on a cruise and world tour with His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda. This is a very auspicious day which will mark the advent of a new shift in consciousness on planet Earth, unlike anything seen before in human history. On this auspicious day, Paramahamsa Nityananda will be embarking on a cruise and also have a huge group of meditators, disciples, seekers with him. The now most sought after 21 day inner awakening spiritual retreat will be conducted on the cruise from December 12, 2012. Go to innerawakening.org for details, to register, and to have your intention blessed by Swamiji. That's all from Nityananda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. Each one of you devotees, disciples, is equivalent to 10,000 people in one body if you see the intensity with which they function. We'll see you next time on Nityananda TV News. Nityanandam!